There are some things we take for granted in this world, like our hospitals. But there's a disturbing trend going on in Connecticut and nationwide that could change hospitals for the worse. See, many hospitals are now consolidating, converting, or collaborating. What does this mean? Well, let's start with consolidation. This is when two or more hospitals join together to create a healthcare system. This healthcare system can also include physician practices, like your own doctor, which the hospital system bought, maybe without you even knowing. This can create a monopoly and limit the choices you have as a healthcare shopper, meaning prices can be driven up and you're now spending more for the same services you are already getting. And you may have fewer options to go somewhere else for care. Healthcare systems are growing fast in the state. The two biggest are Yale New Haven Health and Hartford Healthcare. Next there is converting. This is when a for-profit company buys a non-profit hospital. While this deal can sometimes work out for a community, there are also dangers to it. Like a for-profit company shutting down services because it doesn't make a big enough profit for the hospital and its shareholders. As of now, all of Connecticut's hospitals are non-profit, except one. But there have been attempts by for-profit hospital chains to change that. Lastly, there's collaborating. This is when independent hospitals join together to share benefits. Recently, a group of seven Connecticut hospitals formed the Value Care Alliance in an effort to create a third way of working together while still keeping their independence. While this has the potential to be a good thing, it's so new that the jury is still out on whether it will work. What makes them independent could also be what makes it hard for them to work together. The bottom line is there are lots of changes happening and we must be aware of them to make sure that our access to good care does not suffer.